Yeah, it's Peppy. Yeah, we're going to do two more adoptions. And um, these two girls are going to go together. And um, I'm going to do... Clara is very, very shy. You probably all know that. And I want... Um, I am not going to do her adoption out here. I'm not going to do that. She's very shy. These people know it. They're willing to work with her. And I know that she was very good to me. She, she let me pet her a lot, take her sutures out, all that kind of stuff when she was in the welcome room. But now that she's in all of this room, she's kind of reverted to that uh, worriedness state that um, the vet knew, vet's office knew that she was rather shy and um, just not used to people very well. So um, we're, we're not going to force the issue with her. That's not how we make them be nice. We're just going to do it her way. And so I'm going to do their adoption in the house, including Peppy's, but I'm going to get Peppy here in just a minute. But Clara had arrived here when uh, she was possibly three years old, we said, and I got a strong feeling she has probably always been um, an outside cat, but she does enjoy being in here, and she's bright-eyed and alert, and she responds to me when I bring her her breakfast. She just doesn't want that hands-on. These folks had been here a while ago, and um, they saw her. They know how she is, and that is okay with them. So Clara is the black tiger. She arrived here. Uh, she had um, been hit by a car, and then at that time it was nice, nicer weather when we had that little spree of nice weather, and she had gotten a lot of maggots here in her chest. And uh, so at the time of her amputation, because she also had a severely broken leg, they were able to get all the um, uh, maggots out and to also do that amputation. She had that surgery on October 12th, and then they kept her actually till we were able to pick her up on October 17th. So um, she's bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, friendly, at a distance, <laughs> and she's eating good. Her weight gain has been superb. And um, she's happy with herself, and that's what we want. She will go into a home where she's not forced to be anything but herself. And these people had in the past, they're going together, remember, these people in the past had had a CH cat long ago. And at the time of our last CH adoption, I had probably seven others that had um, sent me um, emails asking for a CH kitty, so when I saw how wonderful Peppy is, and she's using the box 100%, emotionally, mentally, she is ready to go. So I sent out um, emails to these people that I was interested in them having a CH cat, one of ours, and so we did pick one, and it happens to be this family. So they would like to do Clara and Peppy, and Peppy's our domestic short hair gold tiger, she arrived here when she was six and a half months old. They had called her Tipsy, and she was from the greater Dayton area. I did contact her, um, her um, the vet that had taken care of her and told her that it was very possible that we were going to be doing an adoption on her soon. So she will do, she will be the kind of kitty that will blossom in a home without all of these cats here. Y'all know she's super friendly. She likes people. We can get her to calm down quickly when she gets antsy. But it's so many kitties in her face that bother her. Yeah. So it's um, Peppy with the CH and Clara with the amputation, who is very shy. Um, but she's going to do just fine. So I'm going to get Peppy. I have Clara ready right here. And I'm, when I get Peppy, I'm going to take them both in the house. But... You hang on, I will get her. Peppy, where did she go? Peppy, she moved. She moved in that short minute. Here's 
Peppy. <laughs> she went from the couch. He was a couch potato. To the donut. To her, that pink donut. She loves being in that. We're going to have to tell this this uh, family that you like the donut. Yeah, I do donuts. Yeah. But she's a sweetheart. Yeah, it's nice when we can get CHers adopted. But, you know, I'm really careful where the CHers go. They, The home has to be checked out make sure it's safe all that and also um, the cat itself has to be ready and that means emotionally ready to to move more so than the other kind the other kitties here and they also have to use the box a hundred percent oh she is so beautiful isn't she yes I love you and she will she will blossom in a home by her by um, a lot fewer kitties. Yeah. All right, folks. I'm going to take them both in. I got a room all ready for you and a bed. Oops, that's Camby. Camby won't do anything. No, Camby's fine. Camby's fine. All right. You guys want to help me eat breakfast, too? Yeah. <laughs> You've been in.